So here's a little bit about my time at Acer um, in kind of late 2014. Um, Epic is a company that does a lot of e-discovery, claim management, that sort of stuff. Uh, a lot of my clients were Bank of America, Wells Fargo, some of the bigger banks. Um, and so when I came in kind of in October 2014, uh, I jumped on to Acer, which was um, an, an aging um, platform that was dealing with a lot of case management. Um, and this is kind of what it looked like. A lot of tables. Um, a lot of columns, a lot of matrix type stuff. Uh, I believe this was built in kind of the 90s and had been kind of Frankenstein together um, throughout throughout the uh, the years. Um, so they were looking for a fresh concept. Uh, my first week there, I built an a, an Angular 1.0 uh, prototype that was um, responsive, which they liked quite a bit. Uh, and a lot of my work was just organizing a lot of the things that were in the system to be a little simpler. Um, things I discovered were uh, a lot of these people were still using desk calculators to start doing uh, math on things where a system could give you a lot more of an accurate um, scenario for, for what you were doing. Uh, a lot of it is just bells and whistles, being able to filter stuff, just organizing things in a way that makes sense. Um, document management was a huge thing that they didn't have, and um, I'm, I made sure to put a lot of audit history stuff. Um, throughout that process, there was a lot of augmentation too, just trying to work with the limitations of the aging platform um, that currently existed, as well as new concepts like this. Uh, also ended up moving into um, kind of proof of claim, that sort of stuff. Um, they had a lot of claims sitting on the table that were costing, was costing millions of dollars uh, because they didn't know that they needed to be dealt with. So creating dashboards to show you where, you know, cases were in the life cycle, um, kind of showing you improved uh, closings um, week by week, month by one month, and then even building things like pellet feeders um, that could kind of do a lot of cool ML stuff down the way where uh, a computer could identify certain items that had come in from the courts the night before uh, as maybe a closing case, etc. And then you could have um, human people, of course, uh, to qualify that um, or validate it as right. Um, so it, it's a good way to actually train out a corpus for um, more AI-driven um, you know, classifications down the way. 